Sziasztok! Köszöntelek benneteket. Egy újabb cosplay-es vendég, vendégünk következik. Igazándiból ez most nem kérdezfelelek lesz az eddigiekhez hasonlóan, hanem ő egy előadással készült nektek, ami igazából arról, volt, arról fog szólni, hogy hogyan kell felkészülni cosplay versenyekre, ugye a legjobban hogyan lehet ezt kivitelezni, és milyen tanácsokkal tudja ellátni azokat, akik, akik igazándiból versenyre szeretnének menni, vagy már eleve versenyeznek, és csak tippekre van szükségük. Úgyhogy szeretném uh, Sapit hívni a színpadra. Please come to the stage. Nagy tapsot szeretnék kérni neki. Um, Shopee is a cosplayer from Poland. She is organizing competitions for a very long time. Before that, she was partaking in competition a lot of times, even in big competitions like the Euro Cosplay competition and ECG, ECG, which is a big competition in France. And she placed a lot of times. Uh, what was the? I think, yeah, uh, you you won a lot of awards. I just remember that. You have awards everywhere. Yeah, you say awards. Okay, so enjoy the presentation. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, it works. Thank you so much, Yuriko. Uh, yeah, she kind of sugarcoated it. Um, hi, guys. I'm Shapi, uh, Alexandra. I'm coming from Poland here to Hungary, and I'm so happy to see you. And I hope I will have some cosplayers here on our uh, audience. I hope so, because I have a few words about uh, cosplay contests for you guys. Uh, but first, let me introduce myself. Oh yeah, that's the first thing. Can you please another one? Uh, because I want to introduce myself, what I do, why I'm uh, saying this all. Yeah, hi. So uh, in Poland right now, I was I used to be uh, very active for contest competitions. I was traveling around, you know, Europe representing Poland for for many years. But right now, I'm a cosplay mommy, just like Yuriko is for you guys, and I'm uh, taking care of cosplayers uh, in Poland. So most of all, I really want to um, encourage you guys, especially the starting cosplayers, to try their, their luck, their best uh, in the competitions abroad. But to do this, you have to kind of find this, you know, a knack how to compete. I know it sounds silly, but uh, competitions are sometimes, uh, of course, a lot of luck, a lot of skill, but also the technique, how you present yourself and your costume, how you pick your costume and everything around it. So let me introduce it and tell you maybe a few tips and tricks how we do it. So uh, yeah, that's, my, uh, that's me, if you can <laughs> recognize me on a few stages. So for me, it was a very long uh, way from you know, just small Polish, co Polish competitions to the bigger ones. My thing, the, the biggest contest I was judging was um, WCS, which is World, World Cosplay Summit in Saudi Arabia. So the contests are really you know, varying in level. But now uh, we, we can just ask ourselves a question, which contest I should pick? If we are beginners, uh, we should think about small contests. So we don't have to worry about, you know, high competition or maybe very harsh judges. The small competitions, I think, will, will work the best for you because in this way you can, without any, not much stress, try your luck and try how you feel on stage because your feel and how do you uh, present yourself, how do you, you know, cope with stress and everything is really important. So if you have a chance to, for example, go for a small debut contest, try this, maybe leave Comic-Con for later. And about Comic-Con and maybe, you know, Mondocon, I would suggest them as a medium contest. So uh, when you have those competitors or other cosplayers who have years of experience and they're also coming for bigger prizes, which is, of course, harder competition to win. But the other hand, I think it's really good for you to not only stay in the smaller competitions, it's good for you to level up, because if you meet someone who is, uh, you know, more advanced than you, uh, it usually, uh, naturally should, of course, um, make you feel that you want to level up as well. So your skills will increase the more competitions you take part. So if you can, just level up slowly. And the biggest one, which I really, uh, can you come back? Thank you. Uh, the biggest one, uh, I want to actually encourage you guys, because I was talking with some cosplayers here around in, in Hungary, uh, are the international ones, which you have, I think, Euro cosplay, right? You have Toulouse cosplay. Can you guys help me? Do you have anything else? Euro cosplay, Toulouse. Okay, that's all, I hope. Maybe, maybe more. 
And the thing is, there are so many contests in Europe. So if you're planning, for example, showing your skills abroad, and for example, you really want to maybe make a cosplayer profession or make a living out of cosplay, I would highly suggest going abroad to see, to showcase your skills. Because this, this is where um, other contests can notice you, other judges can notice you, and they also can uh, maybe later invite you, just like I am today with you guys, because I was taking part in a different contest in different countries. So, uh, for example, maybe uh, Vienna, maybe, you know, coming to, to Slovakia, somewhere around you, which could also help you to show yourself. But if you also are feeling more adventurous, try uh, Eurocosplay, try contests abroad, because those are really the biggest one we have. Okay. So, to uh, compete, you also have to know a very simple scheme, which is like, did I read the contest rules? Which is really important because many of you just compete without really reading what is important in the contest. I'm not sure about Hungary, but in Poland for sure and many other contests, we have these um, points which are very important for the judges. So for example, you can look what judges are looking into in the contest we are taking part of. For example, what is the percentage for the skit? What is the percentage for the craftsmanship? Maybe the likeness of the character is very important. So make sure you are familiar with the points. This way you can actually crack the system and get into the better, better scores. So for example, for the competitions abroad, there's sometimes 50-50 um, or more, uh, there's more concentration on the contest of the performance, sometimes more on the, on the, on the costume. So if, for example, pick a costume which you cannot really move around and you're like a huge Gundam standing like this, your skit won't be very um, thrilling, you know, and you will lose points. So it's sometimes better to pick simpler costume, make it very perfect, and then be able to move on stage, because in this way you will get more points. I hope you guys get the idea what I want to say. Uh, of course, does the costume fit the convention? So, for example, if there's an anime and manga, anime and manga convention, you're picking the most unknown Power Ranger character, everyone will be like, huh? <laughs> so I think it's maybe a bit smarter to pick a character which your audience will familiarize with. Of course, it's not necessary, it's not a must, but if you want to, for example, uh, connect with your audience, maybe you want to say, uh, show a skit which is kind of about character, not very universal, it would be good to pick a character the audience will know and maybe be just familiar with. And do you have good reference materials? So your judges are working on a reference material, which is basically an images. So if your image is blurry, very small, or just not showing the back of your costume, it's not going to work in, a, in your um, advance. It might be not be a very good choice. Just find, try to find the best resolution image you can find from every side, because your judges then can see their costume very up close and give you Better points, of course. Okay, let's go further. And But you have no idea what you're doing. Let me help you. Let me help you. Let me show you how I do it. So this is the most like basic, uh, of course, look at my ancient windows. Thank you, thank you. I still love my, my old XP windows. Uh, so this is the most basic way we are uh, sending our applications in Poland. Of course, there's many like uh, other websites to use, but here you can see the reference, which is like my Zelda. Oh, sorry, one sec. <laughs> uh, the reference, which is like Zelda, which I did in, in the past, and you can see it from every every side, so the judges also can see the costume from every side, and you are also sending your lights, because sometimes you have very good guys, like today, the technicians are really good here, but some contests don't really have a good technical uh, crew, and they have no idea about your lights, about the mood of your performance, so if you send them like a sheet with the time, and the idea which you have, what you want to have. So for example, better light, yellow light, no light, maybe it's troposcope light. They will know what you want to achieve and then the performance will be just more polished. So I hope you uh, understand what I want to mean. Yeah. And what uh, us judges or organizers are looking for in the, into the contest uh, application. So guys, please be on time because you will send your applications later. You, are, you can only be you know, sorry for yourself for not being a very um, proper contestant. Uh, please make it personal because if you, your friends sing you up, they won't know what's going on. So they may, may make some mistakes. Um, and of course, if you're, if you're not qualified, at least uh, I know in, around uh, in Europe there are some kind of uh, limits how many people can be on stage. So if you don't go on stage because of there's too many people, don't take it personally, come on, it's just too many people we can fit in one hour or two hours of the program. So there's nothing to be mad or ashamed about. Yeah? 
and judges round. I think many of you can be a bit uh, stressed about this because uh, meeting judges can be stressful. I know, I, I've been there many times, but pr trust me, we are just humans like you and we just really want to see pretty costumes and nerd with you about this armor you, you guys made or this huge sword, which is amazing. So we are not really biting. Please come to judges round. And I think the um, most important um, skill I would suggest for you guys to be just be confident. Really, nothing helps you more than confidence. Like, for example, you didn't finish this part of an armor, never mention it. It's not existing. If the judges notice, they do. If they don't, good for you. <laughs> so just be confident, just try to be um, very uh, proud of yourself, of your work. Sh tell the judges everything which is great about their character, great about their costume. Tell them maybe some interesting facts, maybe some tips which you used for the, for the costume because they want to know uh, how you made it. And if it's uh, you know, interesting for them, they'll be also working for more points. So I think it will be my, best, my, my most important um, advice for you. Yes, and also, uh, I don't know about Hungary, but many co uh, contests and many countries like to have drama after contest. Oh yeah, we do, we do like it. So what I want to tell you today will be that we are just humans like you, and there's no issue to be you know, dramatic about the, 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 the judges, about the, about the contest rules. If you have any questions about the, the prizes, the winners, please come to judges. They will be happy, like exotic, you know, to tell you everything because we really want to share our feedback. So for example, if you're curious why this person win and did the person was, in your opinion, better, please come ask and we'll be happy to provide you all the feedback and tell you because many times, I mean, I would say 99% of times, you guys on the audience cannot really see the costumes up close as we do because we are, you know, just sitting next to the people and just touching their armons, seeing so much detail as we can. And sometimes uh, from the um, audience perspective, this costume will be gorgeous, amazing, oh sorry, <laughs> gorgeous, amazing costume, but we see, you know, unfinished lines, you know, maybe cracking, crack, cracking, chipping paint, like fluffy wigs, so we see these small things. That's why judges are here, to just you know, sit up close and be able to give the best um, results. Yeah. Okay. And rehearsals. I hope you guys here in uh, Hungary have rehearsals. I hope you do, do. no? Yes? No? Oh, sh you don't? Damn, I'm so sorry. Uh, okay, so apparently you guys don't have it, which is very sad because uh, cosplay rehearsals are amazing way to go on stage, try yourself because you can, you know, check how do you feel on stage, how your costume moves off stage, if your props work, if your uh, surprise, uh, wow effect, uh, stage prop works. This way you can make sure that nothing will go bad on stage and the performance will be just flawless. So if you have a chance to ask your organizer, hi, I'm sorry, Yuriko, can I go on stage a, a bit earlier in the break? Maybe I, can w I want to check my costume on stage. Stage, just do it. I think it would be a good idea to just, you know, try it and also it will give you more confidence later. And stress about your performance. Many of you, especially the beginner ones, uh, the beginners in the cosplay community, could be a little bit stressed off stage. I know, I've been there myself and actually you, you can believe it or not, I'm a bit stressed talking to you right now. I'm really hard thinking about my words. <laughs> so it, it's, it happens to everyone all the time. But I think the most important part is to try to train your, your stress out. What I mean by that is to just train your performance so many times that you will just not remember, uh, you, you, I mean, you won't think about your performance in your head, you will just do it like with your body. So it's the same with dancing, you know, the same with other skills. If you train it enough times, your body will remember what you have to do. And this way the stress will fall down because you always remember your movements. Also, uh, if you are really stressed and you have uh, maybe problems with uh, your body during, you know, going onto stage, I would suggest breathing. I know, hear me out, it sounds stupid as hell, but uh, breathing is really helpful for your uh, muscle tension. If you just give yourself a few really deep breaths in a you know, quiet, quiet, you know, uh, place in backstage, it will really do wonders for you. I know it sounds silly, but try it next time if you're going on stage, you're stressed, just breathe. Get some, wa so, some water and just try to remember your skit. I think it will be much, much better. And don't worry, like, if someone goes wrong on stage and you just go with it, no one will notice. No one will notice. Just go, go, go do, do it. Even if your f armor is laying on the ground, just go finish the skit. And I may uh, really tell you that people usually don't notice the falls. 
It's only in your head. Yeah? And maybe some um, tips about the skits. Today we have a skit competition, which I really enjoyed, even if I don't speak a word in Hungarian. I can say palinka and uh, kusi. That's all I can say. <laughs> but I was enjoying the skits so much. And the thing is, if I can, of course, give you some tips, guys, do not make the skit too long. If your skit, for example, is a whole, a whole, a whole uh, music video or a whole, whole song, just dancing with nothing, you know, um, Ext extremely interesting, the audience might be a bit too bored, especially now because we are in the age of TikTok, when there's so much like a little interest in the stuff we are seeing, it's about a few seconds. So if you make your skit too long, probably the audience will be getting tired. So if you can make it shorter, just, you know, uh, the essence of the story, it will be amazing. And also, if you are making a character, for example, for a very popular game or a story like a Disney princess or something, most probably mean people know the character because it's popular. But if you, for example, make something very uh, unique, like a um, second character from this game who never knows, uh, it's a very bad idea to use a character's backstory or character's voice because people just won't know the character. So if you have a chance to use uh, maybe very uh, understandable um, you know, fairy tale story or something that everyone knows, maybe a joke that everyone knows, it will be much easier for the audience to understand your skit. And this way also the judges will just understand what you mean. And the skit will be just quality better. So I hope you guys will agree with me on that. And here's the moment, guys. You're winning your prize. You're getting your amazing uh, prize for the contest, for, for, your, for your judges. And I've seen so many people who are getting a bit bitter after, you know, contest, contest, and getting dramatic and stuff. Once again, let's talk about it. If there's any issue with, you know, with, with the winners, you don't understand something, please ask. Because we really want, judges are here to talk to you guys and explain what's going on. So I hope you guys also will learn from the feedback and the community will be just much, much healthier. And yeah, that's my tips for, you know, after contest stuff. If you uh, won, the, won the competition, don't be a douche about it. You know, you can always be, be happy, but, you know, just maybe just don't go to your arch enemy and be like, ha, I won the competition, you did not. Oh my God, I, actually, I've seen this stuff happening in real life, so please don't do this. And just overall, you know, be happy, guys. Ask for feedback, learn from it. Every competition, even if you didn't place, it's a huge, huge uh, prize for you because you learn something new just by being here, you know, by trying new costume stuff, by trying new techniques, by trying new skits, by meeting new people. I mean, I have so many great friends and, you know, uh, friends of uh, judges, with cosplayers after uh, being at the contest. So really, I think it's only good things coming from the contest, even if you're not, you know, in the top three. And what we get from the competing, which I think we should agree on, which is we, yeah, can I ask for the next one? Friendship. I know friendship is magic, but really guys, what I mentioned before, really so many cosplayers I've met, you know, in the backstage or in the dressing rooms are now my lifelong friends. I believe that uh, cosplay, which is super weird hobby, come on guys, we're all like here looking like a freaking weirdos like rolled up in a foam or something we are just all kids just playing dressing up so there's no point of being you know mean to each other so if you can befriend you know the other people who are also in costumes i think they'll be the as weird as amazing as you so i think friendships from the contest are one of the best i ever had for example uh, yuriko here i don't think she's here i met her um in your cosplay in 2010 so and we still have friends years after. We're still here on the, on, the, on the audience. We also met in 2011, right? So it's all, you know, the years after, and we're still talking to each other. We're just still, you know, acquaintances. It's really, really fun. And the um, self, you know, um, the pri huh, I'm looking for words. Con um, being proud on, st praise? Proud, proud on stage, you know, there's no fear on competing. Sorry, my English just derped right now. I'm looking for a word. But the confidence, yes, the confidence, the confidence that stage gives you. So the more times you go on stage, the less stressful it will be for you. Of course, the first times will be the worst. Probably we won't even remember your first times going on stage. But after some time, it will be natural for you and you will feel just more confident. And this way, the performance will be just easier. And also, you know, just performing overall at school, at the university, at work, showing your ideas, it will be also much easier after your, you know, 
after you competed in front of the many people on, on in comic cons or you know in after com competitions, uh, showing your idea in the front to, next to your uh, boss or your friends will be just a breeze. It will be easy lemon, lemon squeeze, you know. And next one, please. Uh, good skits. Also, I believe that uh, competing alone is fun, of course, because you can show your craftsmanship. But if you compete with people, you also uh, will learn teamwork. You will uh, learn how to you know, work with other people, group uh, group works, you know. So also, if you have a chance to perform together with someone else, please do it. It really is much, much, much for more fun. And of course, big competitions are also important because not only you can show your craftsmanship, not only you can, you know, try your uh, skills with other great cosplayers, but also sometimes it has very good prizes. So I know cosplay is an expensive hobby, I know. <laughs> so if you guys want to get some more money for your uh, foam, for your fabric, for your warbla, try competitions, you can always get some money and then this way you can put uh, these extra prizes into next uh, fabrics, into next materials, next weeks, and this way the cosplay will just go further yes and just have fun i know competitions can be scary and people are just usually around the con convention corridors just lurking you know walking around and i've seen so many great costumes here on, on you know comic con that should be here on stage i don't know why people are just scared because uh, of course you guys should just show your your, your stuff uh, so if i can you know just uh, encourage you to come have fun on stage just try your luck maybe you win something maybe you'll just meet someone great maybe you have a great this great amazing picture which you will later use for all your profile pictures on the social media just go on stage and just try your stuff because i think it's really a good a good experience just to try this if it doesn't work it doesn't work if it works huh? if it works it's going to be amazing and Thank you. I was trying to be a bit faster with this one so we can have some questions and answers. We have 20 minutes, right? Perfect. So, if any of you have any questions to me about, I don't know, uh, Palinka or about wh yeah. which, uh, which because I like more, <laughs> I don't know, we can talk about this. Also, if you have any questions about contests, you want to know how to compete, I'll be happy to help. Yes, the lady in the curly hair. I love, you. I love your hair, by the way, it's so pretty. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, so my question is, uh, I'm a usual competitor at cosplay conventions, and uh, there's this uh, very uh, often issue that uh, when someone uh, make their best costume, very proud of it and all, and they don't win anything, and that can, when they don't win a thing they don't win, at yeah. all, yeah, and uh, even if you try to be very positive, yeah. that for I think almost everybody can be a really hurtful yeah. and disappointing feeling. Yeah. So, what's your uh, what is the thing that uh, you s would say yourself to get over this feeling? Okay, that's actually a great question, and thank you for asking that. Um, I would love to actually tell you a story about me getting here, really. So I w when I was starting to compete in uh, European cosplay competitions, it was 2010, I just made a first costume. It was ugly as hell, but it, it was still good enough to go for, for Polish like a representative. So it was okay. So next year I competed again in the costume which I was supposed to be huge and crazy. I made this idea, I will make a costume with wings, with armor, with a huge shield, and also I decided to make it in a month. As you can say, as, as, as you can guess, guys, this was a disaster. My costume basically fell apart on stage, on the Euro cosplay stage. It was, I just fall, fall, uh, went back to backstage and I started crying. <laughs> I was 19 years old, I was crying my eyes out because I failed so miserably. And uh, this moment, I decided that, okay, I made this mistake far, I didn't have enough time, I didn't have in, in, enough uh, experience. Uh, I was trying to compete with a costume which I couldn't travel with because it was UK, I'm from Poland, so traveling by plane was really hard. So I just thought about the things I did wrong and then I started to improve. I decided the next competition I go, I'm, uh, for, for you know, uh, uh, European ones, I'll do my best. I started working three months before, I was doing everything and uh, yeah, two years later I won the competition abroad. So I think it's uh, about um, 
Of course, you can take your time to grieve because we all do our best in our country. Our, our costumes are our babies. We put so much more love and, and time and money into that. But after you know, some time, you can just calm down and t start to think what, did, what, did, what, 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 what went wrong. For example, you just did something differently, maybe it will go better. Or maybe it will just, some, someone was just better than you. Of course, that happens. But also, you can think about what you can do better and then put it into life, and that's how you grow. So I would suggest, you know, giving to your, yourself some time to, you know, digest it and then just kick this ass, you know? Next time you will kick the asses. I, I think you can do it. I hope it was a good answer for you guys, like motivational, you know? <laughs> yeah, so anyone else wants to know something about cosplay or, I don't know, Polish pierogi? Give you a recipe for Polish pierogi? <laughs> Or maybe about cosplay, guys. Do you want to know something about cosplay in Poland or abroad? I'm happy to help. Okay, so what is your dream costume? My dream costume? Yes. Oh, honey, that's a hard question. I don't really have a dream costumes because I, when I set myself a, a, like a limit, I never do this. <laughs> but I have a plan to make Alex Trasha from World of Warcraft soon. The new one, nice. the new one with the, with the long, long uh, tail. She's a, uh, she's a hot mommy, you know, so <laughs> I want to make it. <laughs> yeah, so maybe that. Yeah. Nice, thank you. Thank you so much. So maybe you guys will tell me something about Hungarian competitions and contests. Actually, I'm curious. So you guys have like a few competitions, right? You have Mondocon, you have Fantasy Expo and Comic Con, right? right? So how, how do you guys like it? Do you like um, catwalks when you just walk on the, on the stage and go down? Or do you enjoy performing more? What do you like in Hungary? What, what Hungarians like in the competitions? And someone answer to me? Do you think you, you can talk to me about this or? Yeah? Here we have our brave, brave contestant. Hello. So the question was about Hungarian competitions, right? And yes. what I like about them. Yeah. The favorite part is always the reaction from the fans, those who watched it. One of my favorite memories, when back when I was on stage in this very costume, I made a joke in it, and I heard the audience erupt in laughter and everything. That's amazing. So it's the reactions for me, definitely. Yes, I agree. And the friends we make along the way, of course. That's true. Can I, then I can ask you about something, because when I was judging the of competition course. yesterday, you, the audience was quite shy there was not much applause do you know why i don't know i didn't really hear anything okay. i was on the stage so i didn't hear it from oh there. i see okay i think you guys need to you know be more energetic and just applause for everyone this was so yes, nice yes i try but most of my cosplays don't let me like i cannot have <laughs> laughing <laughs> <clubs. laughs> i see i see thank you so much you're welcome thanks okay guys so if you don't have any more questions we can always finish earlier because i have my flight to catch very soon, I'm coming back to Poland, I know. I, was, I wanted to go and sightsee a bit more of Budapest and have some palinka, but that's fine. It was amazing. So, should we finish sooner? Or we can, you know, start to... I can, you know, talk more about pierogi. Yeah. Yeah, so maybe I will finish sooner, guys. Thank you so much for having me and coming to, to my presentation. I hope it was helpful and a bit inspire, in, inspiring for you. And I really, really hope I will see you all, you know, maybe not all, but cosplayers. I will see you guys in the competitions around, around Europe. I will be soon in Slovakia for competitions, so maybe we'll see each other there, you know. Maybe I'll be judging you. So it'd be nice if you guys can come, because really Hungarians are so skilled, really so skilled. And you should show it to the, to the Europe, because you guys are so, like, under, underlooked, honestly. So I hope I will see you more. And I will go and catch my fight soon. So thank you so much for having me. Goodbye. <laughs>